Hi there, this is Gary Kreff. And I'm Chris Scott, and we're with The Paperless Agent, and we're here today to talk about the magic phrase. Ooh, the mm. magic phrase. Well, Gary, the reason I wanted to share everybody this magic phrase is that in sales dialogues and sales conversations, um, one of the observations that I've made is that most people, and this happens in real estate a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Where most folks, uh, they're, they're trying to take good care of their customer and they might be asking their customer questions, right, about the buying and selling or selling process or maybe both. And they'll get answers from their client, right? Mm -hmm. So, so give me to give you an example, right? right? So uh, as an agent, you might ask the uh, seller, hey, all right, so when do you want to move by? Mm -hmm. And they'll say, I want to move in August. And they'll say, okay, Got I want to move in August. Now, here's the thing. You are a sales expert, mm -hmm. and you would say that that information is only scratching the surface. That is, well, that, that's exactly right. That is a surface-level answer. And we as real estate agents normally just take that and run with it. Mm -hmm. And that's where we stop the inquisition. Now, what happens when we don't dive a little deeper into the meaning or the reasoning behind the answers mm -hmm. our clients give us. Well, what happens is that we don't have a deep understanding and a deep connection with our customer and really what they're concerned about. And what, mm -hmm. what they're concerned about, it, those are their needs, their wants, their desires, mm -hmm. their fears. You know, and, and if we don't dive deeper, if we don't dig deeper into conversation and ask better questions, mm -hmm. We stay on the surface level relationship with them. You know, you told me a story, Gary, and I want what I want to do is try and connect this to show people how significant it is. Because when you get into the buying and selling process, is it possible for friction or obstacles happen? Absolutely, every right? time. Now, if you're tapped into their true source of motivation, will mm -hmm. those obstacles and hurdles be easier to overcome? And yes. so much easier to navigate. So you told me a story about. One of the clients that you were working with, you found out that she wanted to sell her own home because she was she wanted to move, and it had related it ultimately related to an education goal, right? It did. So ultimately, what happened is, as I asked my client, I said, "Well, gosh, why you know why are you wanting to relocate?" And she said, "Well, I need to get out of the debt of this house, and mm -hmm. I want to take that money." And I said, "Okay," and I could have stopped there, right? I was like, "Oh, okay, okay, let's okay. go do that," right? And I said, "The magic phrase." Here we go, guys. Here's the magic phrase. I said, that seems really important to you. Can you tell me more about that? Mm. It's very, very simple. Can you tell me more about that? You're asking them to share a little mm. bit more about why that's important. She said, well, sure. So my husband died of cancer last year. Mm -hmm. And I was like, didn't know that. Good to know. Good to know. And she said, I promised him when he died that I would provide enough money to our son to get the very best college education. Mm. And so I'm selling this house, I'm moving to a much less expensive house, I'm gonna pay cash for that, and I'm gonna take the balance of my proceeds and send my son to an Ivy League school. Mm. And all of a sudden, like I had chills because I connected with my client on the true deep objective of why she was moving. And now that I was connected to that, mm -hmm. I could actually provide a much different level of service. Well, now you're not just her advocate or her advisor in selling the home. You're her advocate in achieving a life goal that she that's has. That's absolutely right. So right. That, you know, that's how you partner. And all, all it took was using that magic phrase. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? So the next time you're having a conversation with a prospect or a client, try it. Ask them a question and then say the phrase. Can you tell me a little bit more about that?